how to install a floor mount tub filler. The goal of this video is to walk you through installing your floor mount tub filler. We will be using the tub filler design shown here, although yours may look different since designs and finishes will vary. As with any faucet installation, check to make sure everything is in the box using the maintenance and installation guide for reference. Before you begin, you'll want to assemble the tools you may need for the job, like a jigsaw, an adjustable wrench, a circular saw, safety goggles, a hammer, galvanized nails, a screwdriver, plumber's tape, a tape measure, a drill, and a power driver. The first step is removing the subfloor. Using a circular saw, carefully cut the subfloor to gain access to the floor joist below. Next, we will install the stringer and mounting bracket. For this step, you will need the stringer, which you need to measure and cut to size, the mounting bracket, four mounting screws, and additional screws for securing the stringer. First, measure the distance between the two floor joists. And then cut a stringer board from a 2 by 12 piece of lumber. Next, temporarily lay the subflooring back down. Using the mounting bracket, mark the four interior screw holes with a pencil. Drill four starter holes. Using a straight edge, outline the area so you know where you need to cut. Then, using a jigsaw, cut an opening in the stringer that will accommodate the supply lines. The hole should be smaller than the diameter of the tub filler mounting base. Next, measure the distance from the edge of the subfloor to the center of the cutout. Lift the subflooring, and based on where you cut the hole in the subflooring, measure and mark the same distance onto the floor joists. This is where you will center the floor stringer. Use the mounting bracket to determine the proper placement of the stringer so that the bracket is flush with the top of the floor joist. Screw the stringer in place. Once again, lay the subflooring down so you can mark the location of the hole on the stringer. Lift the subflooring. And then drill and cut the opening in the stringer. Now it's time to install the mounting bracket. Please note the side of the mounting bracket with the markings. Thread the screws into the four inner holes of the mounting bracket. Remember, you need to insert the screws from the side of the bracket that does not have writing. Next, drill the screws into the holes, but not quite all the way. This will allow you to adjust the height after the rough is installed, if necessary. Now we will attach the mounting bracket to the stringer. With the type side facing you, place the bracket over the hole in the stringer, placing the threaded studs through the hole. Drill screws into the outer bracket holes, attaching the bracket to the stringer. Be sure to position the bracket with arrows pointing toward the tub. Although you can install the mounting plate below the stringer, we recommend mounting it on top of the stringer for greater flexibility in case you want to change your flooring in the future. Next, we will install the risers. For this step, you will need the supplied risers, test plugs, and six O-rings. First, you need to braze your fittings to the supply lines. Next, slide three O-rings in place on each fitting. From below the stringer, 
insert the risers up through the hot and cold holes on the mounting bracket. Push the fittings into the smaller end of the supply line holes on the bracket to ensure they are securely in place. Then put the test plugs in place. Place the subfloor back over the mounting bracket, carefully inserting the fittings through the hole. Then attach the plaster guard to protect the fittings during the installation of your flooring. Lastly, to secure the stringer, attach it to the subfloor with four screws on the corners of the stringer board. Once your flooring has been installed, it's time to install the tub filler. You'll need the tub filler and the washers and nuts supplied with the filler. Remove the plaster guard and unscrew the test plugs from the risers. Carefully slide the mounting plate over the risers and threaded studs until the faucet base rests on the floor. If necessary, you can further adjust the screw height to ensure they will fit below the escutcheon. Make sure the faucet is level. If it isn't, you can place a shim under the filler base. Install the washers and nuts onto the four threaded studs, then tighten the nut securely with a wrench. Be careful not to over-tighten. Slide the escutcheon down over the mounting plate and press into place. Now it's time to flush the lines. You'll need the hose that attaches the hand shower to the tub filler. Looking at the end of the hose with flat sides, make sure the gasket is in the hose. Thread the hose onto the outlet beneath the spout and tighten securely. Be sure not to over-tighten. Put a stopper in the tub drain. This will keep you from losing the gasket from the hand shower hose. Turn on both hot and cold water supplies. Pull the end of the hose down into the tub. Then turn the filler handle to the full on position. Pull the diverter out. Flush the hose for one minute. Turn the water back off at the bath valve handle. The last step is to install and test the hand shower. All you'll need is the hand shower. Make sure the gasket is in the end of the hose that attaches to the hand shower. Hand tighten the hose onto the hand shower. Turn on the water to make sure the connection is tight and no water is coming out of the connection of the spray wand to the hose. Turn the water off and place the hand shower into the holder. Check to make sure the cold water flows first. If not, refer to the am and die. It is likely that the cartridge will need to be flipped. With proper installation, your floor mount tub filler will bring years of stylish, trouble-free water delivery to your bathroom. If you experience any difficulty, please call 1-800-345-DELTA for assistance or visit deltafaucet.com for more information. Delta Floor Mount Tub Fillers. Another way Delta is more than just a faucet. See what Delta can do.